Okay, so now I will do what I will do is that I will plug this out. And instead of the signal, put it directly from the signal generator to the analyzer, I will use another one. I will use this one here. And this one connected to a power divider. This is a Hilda package power divider. And the power, this, this side for the input side, I will connect to the signal generator. So the signal, RF signal from this generator will be sent to here and with this cable and connect to and send to the power splitter or power divider, and it will be split to two of the equal one. One of the signal should be sent to the key side spectral analyzer here, the PXA, which is very, very expensive and very high-end equipment. And another side with this one, the equivalent signal will be sent to our spectral analyzer here, and let's do some of the comparison. So I just uh, turn off the sweep. And I just, uh, let us just use this one, eight. So I just set a uh, eight gigahertz frequency and with amplitude to minus 10. So here is a uh, eight gigahertz. Frequency to eight gigahertz and exit. So, as I, I look to see that now it's uh, it had some tiny difference of around 0.6 dBm with the same saving, but actually it's very close. So I also show everybody the structure of the another class with the carrier frequency around 15 gigahertz. So you can see that the PXA, there's the, the PXA sweep time is better, but actually it's very, very high end and very expensive. Right, but we could get a similar spectrum in our CSA.
Now, let's see very weak signal at 20 gigahertz with uh, minus 75 dBm. So if I turn on the preamplifier, you will see more the sensitivities here. So this is a very, very weak signal here. And also the difference is based on one dB. This matters 86 dBm for both of the two instruments. So it can up to 15 dBm for the largest output. And we can back to the spectral analyzer to see if we can measure that. Notice that there is an overload sign averting and we can meet it by using the attenuation to enlarge the attenuation. So it's Increase is to 30 dB. And I guess the uh, overload side or overload warning should be disappeared. Okay. So then we go to measure it again. And we make a big search. So because of the power splitter here, it has a lot of the uh, North. So now we just measure it uh, less than seven. It's 6.8 dBm. So let's see how the PXA measurements rate are. So again, it has a warning here, and we can choose amplitude and determination and make it to 30 as we did in the CSA. 30 dB and rolling down. And now we choose the uh, amplitude. We choose the frequency as 10 acres.
is that it, it, they have 0.6 dBm difference, but it also same. The reason why they have a slight difference, that might be because they say, say uh, we do not have a very, very nice waste WR. So that makes it have a little slightly different, but it's acceptable. So now here in, in the CSS screen, it's 6.7 dBm, and in the PXA here is 6.02 or 03. But anyhow, it's a desk, desk, desk uh, top label, but it's a modular analyzer. 